Happy Saturday. I'm Chris McLean, lead pastor at Shady Grove United Methodist Church in Short Pump. And it's my privilege to share a daily with you this morning. And usually on Saturday, we like to tell you what's coming up on Sunday. So what's coming up tomorrow is worship. And we have a message about loving the enemy within. Now that sounds, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Uh, I kind of love the title. Uh, and so think about that. What is, what is that enemy within? In what way, maybe are you your own worst enemy? In what way, and you can think this generationally too, uh, because there's a generational component to our scripture, Ezekiel 18. And thinking generationally, how are we our own worst enemy? And is there some way that we can love that hard spot in our lives with God, such that something better could happen? Um, we all want to live a, a fuller life, a more whole life. This is a chance to pursue that. So if you've been seeking a greater sense of meaning and purpose in life and you want to know what does Jesus Christ have for you for that, this is a great Sunday to talk some nuts and bolts on that, particularly when it comes to loving some of that trouble on the inside of us. Also, I want you to be aware of some upcoming changes in worship. We've been having uh, 9 o'clock drive-in and an 11 o'clock in-person worship on our campus and we're going to shift that. We're going to create a hybrid service. Instead of meeting indoors, we're going to meet outdoors. That means you can bring your own chair. So dust the sand off those beach chairs, put them in your car, and you will be ready uh, to have worship at church. You can uh, park in that back gravel lot if you're able to come for that in-person outdoor worship and that's going to be at 10 30 in the morning and make your way uh, toward the church office building that's toward the end of the paved parking lot uh, we have some picnic benches some of you may be sitting on those others will be setting up those beach chairs and we're going to be sitting in groups that are safely distanced apart so i am asking you to sit by your household group. Uh, we will be wearing masks. Uh, we will have music, but those of us in the outdoor audience, those of us in that place, we're gonna hum along for safety until we have some better research. Uh, there is some troubling research about uh, singing in groups, but we will have great music however we do it. And the humming is um, surprisingly satisfying. If you are dying to just sing out loud, we will have a driving component at that 1030 outdoor service. And you can sing your heart out in your car. And that will be a way that we can gather safely. We're excited about being able to shift to this opportunity as we are entering September. That's when we're starting this. Outdoor worship starting September 13th. We do need people to help us as welcomers and ushers, and particularly our extroverts and our folks with a sense of humor. It is very hard to remember to stay away from one another. It is really, really hard to remember it when we love each other and haven't seen each other in a while. So we need some folks with a good sense of humor, um, to say in some playful and fun ways, you know, hey, break it up, break it up, you know, you know, Christian love at a safe distance or whatever uh, fun way we express that. Uh, there will be some training involved with Pastor Beanie and if anybody can find a, a fun way to help people um, be at our best as we have to uh, be together while also being a little bit distanced. I can't think of anybody funnier and more positive for that than Pastor Beanie. So she has some training for you. If you would sign up, we have some practice opportunity on September 6th. So that's a great way to get a sneak preview of outdoor worship. So we will have our last nine o'clock drive in this Sunday, that's August 30th, and our last indoor uh, worship for now and for the fall we'll make this switch so with the nine o'clock hour is going to be reserved for learning opportunities uh, for your sunday schools and whatnot and the vision is that after you have finished uh, whatever learning gathering you have on zoom or however your group is doing that if you're in a small group on sunday morning then you have that chance to get yourselves packed up. The beach chairs are already in the car and you can be in place at 1030 to kick off worship together. So more information is going to be available about that, but I'm glad to be able to share that with you. So that's the sneak preview both for tomorrow in worship where we're gonna to learn to love the enemy within and learn some about Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, and also sneak preview of some of the fun that's coming in September. It's great to be with you this Saturday morning. 
and well maybe you're watching this in the afternoon i hope it's a great day whatever time it is blessings